Hey guys, want to learn how to build a deck like this all by yourself? Stick around and I'll show you how. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tear this deck down. I think this is about 20 foot across, coming out about 10 feet, seven foot set of stairs right there. Um, gonna get that little deck platform torn off and I'm gonna make one deck that comes out from here and ties around the side of this house. There'll be a set of stairs coming down there and another set almost just like those. <clears throat> But we're just going to build a new deck. I'm going to start by tearing this one down. Um, I'll have some commentary probably along the way, but that is the plan.
Okay, um, for the most part, both decks are torn down. It is one o'clock. I think I got started about 9.30. When I got here about 8.30 or so, he had just showed up with all my material. So that worked out just good. Came from the building center. They always hooked me up. Um, got a couple posts sticking up still over there. Got that ridge board, I'm, I'm sorry, ledger board in, and this one. And these two posts probably just cut these posts down <clears throat> right below the surface of the ground unless they're just in the way or you know not under the deck that outer board had two bolts going through it into them four by fours and that was the only thing holding that entire deck up eight bolts were holding that entire deck 20 foot by 10 foot with two by sixes on top so it was a little heavier than with regular deck boards but that was the only thing holding that entire thing up when I, when I cut the first one, I mean, I I guess I didn't think about it, but when I cut that first, I took one bolt out. The different one had a different head. When I cut it, the whole thing dropped and I realized it wasn't sitting, whatever. This ridge board, uh, or ledger board, I'm gonna take this off. I'm just not gonna take it off right now. I'm gonna spend my time kind of getting things lined, set up for my uh, concrete that's gonna go in the ground. Cause you know, after I get the concrete in, then I can work with this. This doesn't have any flashing on here. So I'm wondering, you can see back in there. I don't know if they just put this ledger board on top of this wood siding and it's rotted a little bit because I can see, I guess that's house wrap. Yeah, see in there, I guess that's a good thing if only that's rotten. But anyway, I'm gonna get this off um and i will get some flashing on there um so one issue that i'm gonna have to deal with um you can see that this deck is sitting about i don't know six inches below that door and what i was gonna do is i was gonna make this run over here to this side and do the same thing what i was gonna do is raise that ledger board and just make it come right here with this one because i you know i didn't want to have to add any of this wood i guess is what i'm trying to say but i think what i'm gonna have to do is lower this ledger board because over here this fireplace stone was put in after this deck was built so I, if i raise this up it's going to get into those rocks you can see you can see that um concrete block wall back behind there and if i come up with this it ain't gonna work 
I went ahead and got these holes dug for my beams that are going in. See, there's going to be one there. Or, I'm sorry. Post, 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 post. Or a 6x6 six six post. I'm going to have one beam running here. I'll be using 2x8 joists. And that 2 by is going to span... Well, it's going to hit this right at 10 and a half feet, but a, a two by eight can span 12 feet. But it'll run and land on top of this beam at, at about 10 and a half feet, but then it'll come on out. The deck's going to have a cantilever. It'll come on out to 12 feet. Um, so I'll have one, about a 30 foot double two by eight beam running through there. And then you can see my other post bases up here i'm gonna have just short beams here here and here i'm missing a cat back there but i'm doing something a little different than what i normally do i don't normally use these um just concrete footings with a post cap or post base sitting on top of it i'm in south carolina that just ain't code around here nobody does that I, every deck that i go behind nobody does that even the other jobs that i work on i never see it one time i saw it and i talked to the guy and he built the deck himself and he just did it for the sake of doing it i do think it's a better way to do it inspectors don't require this around here i, d I don't know why i guess because we don't get any any freezing weather to really make a difference and it you know we don't get an enormous amount of rain we get enough but it gets so hot it dries it up um, but I do think this is a better way to do it. So I'm going to start doing it this way. And I finally figured out I need to use these J bolts. Um, and they did have those, but I would, I think this is pretty much what they use in the foundation of a house before you put that bottom plate on. But what I did, dug these holes and the, the, what's the word for it? A freeze, freeze line, freeze line around here. I think it's like 12 inches or less. Might even be eight inches. Um, just because of the, we don't get that much frost. But, but the reason what that freeze line is, you're supposed to dig, the freeze line gets you deeper than what the ground in your area will freeze at. That keeps the ground from, from forcing these posts up out of the ground. So anyway, 12 inches is what it is here. These are all 16 inches minimum. Some of them were 20 inches or so. Anyway, dug the hole, put some, um, not real thick concrete, thick enough where these bolts wouldn't, you know, just drop down to the bottom. Set these down in there. You can see I got this string pulled. Um, and I just put that bolt down in there far enough. <clears throat> this little, this piece sets on it. I'm not going to mess with it because it's embedded in that concrete. I don't want to mess with that. But sets down, there's a hole in there. I think, <laughs> I guess this piece goes on top and not up underneath. I'm sure it goes on top. That goes in. And then tomorrow when I'm ready to set my post, I'll set this piece in there and then the uh, post will attach or screws all in the side. So what I did to make sure that was deep enough was I just set this on top and push down. And these things seem to be trying to, those bolts almost like they're rising up out of the ground, but I just kept going back and checking them. Anyway, these posts, I've got this string pulled here. Those, I didn't so much worry about it because it's just running. You don't have to worry about when you when you cantilever the deck. The joist will come this way and the beam will run long, run past this post. And then I can set my joist on here and square this deck up with the joist and then just cut my beams, um, cut the length off of them when I get done. I really like doing that because it looks better. I like my post and the beam to kind of set in so it doesn't draw attention to your eye. And another benefit is that you don't have to worry about making this extremely perfect. I get them, I get them close. Obviously that's a straight line. It's, it's about the same distance off the house, but I don't have to worry so much about squaring it all up right now and then setting that beam on there and trying to move it around perfect. I just put the beam, if the beam's gotta be 30 feet, I'll make it 32 feet, leave it a foot long or so off of each end. And then once I get my joist on there perfect, then I just cut it all out, cut all that excess. But that's gonna be all for this video. I'm just gonna do this in parts. If you get a chance, go check out uh, Premier Outdoor Living. I get a, I've get been watching his videos. The guy is very inspiring. 
him and his crew, man, he's got a good crew of guys. They, they make some beautiful decks out of composite and everything else. I'll put a link to that in the bottom. And I'd appreciate it if you go over there, tell him I sent you. Maybe I can get him to um, leave me a, a little shout out on his channel, but I ain't gonna help him none. He's got, he gains about a thousand subscribers a day. I, I gain about a thousand a year. Um, but appreciate you watching. Um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments um, or go to our Facebook group, uh, Professional Handyman. I'll leave a link for that in the bottom too. Um, and come back and check out the next video after this part two will be um, Ledger Board and Joyce.